sprint car racing is a very tough sport. There's so many teams out there competitive. There's 15 to 20 teams that can win the race. I was always a NASCAR fan. My grandparents grew up and uh, were raised in Columbus, Indiana. Obviously uh, a heartbeat of, of racing. My dad's a prison guard. He went to work and was working with a maintenance supervisor who had raced micros um, back in the day and kind of knew that we were race fans and things like that. And my grandfather from Columbus always wanted to get into racing and things evolved and they had a practice play day at uh, Plaza Park, I think it was, in Visalia, California. And we went out and just made some laps and practiced. Next thing I know, um, dad and grandpa came back to the house as a surprise with a, with a race car and, and it started all, all back in 1998. So here we are almost 20 years later, it's, uh, it's grown into what it is today. And you know, it's every weekend for the last almost 20 years, it's all I've known every summer. So it's, uh, it's been exciting, it's been fun, and it's been a long journey so far. The typical day, uh, day of a race, you get up, you head to the shop, get everything loaded, get the car loaded. Um, all the crew guys usually are there by then, load up in the truck, and um, you know our typical race is an hour and a half, two hours away. So we get to the track, and it's you know kind of their time to to get busy and start prepping and getting things ready. Um, you know I kind of go watch track conditions as the as the track crew works on the track. 5:30 rolls around, driver meeting kicks off, uh, and it's all game time after that. So. It's time to suit up, get ready for wheel pack, hot laps. After hot laps, me and Davey will, uh, will debrief a little bit on what the car needs or what it doesn't need. Um, a lot of times, if you change too much between hot laps and qualifying, you can really make it harder in qualifying because you have two laps to rip the two best laps that you possibly can. So if you do too many changes and you had a fairly good car in hot laps, you can really throw yourself off as a driver, just kind of having to relearn you know, what the car's doing again. After qualifying, uh, it's really game time then. You know, you got heat race comes up. You've got to uh, really push to uh, obviously transfer out of your heat race, but then, you know, do the best you can for points as well. You know, first pay, pays a little more points than uh, second, third, fourth. So the A mains where it all counts. So you've got to rip 30 good laps, solid laps. Uh, hopefully, uh, at the end of that 30 laps or 40 laps, you're uh, on top of the box. There's so many teams out there that are competitive. There's 15 to 20 teams that can win the race. You strive to make the car perfect and make your race car driver happy. I mean, you do whatever it takes. And it might be adjusting the shock one click, um, taking one inch of stagger out of it. Um, just the little bitty things, when you get that car right, it just makes your driver shine and he can just drive it as hard as he possibly can. Everybody wants to, you know, you want to commit and be become a, a full-time race car driver, or mechanic, or, or crew chief, but it's nothing you can just do kind of halfway. You've got to either do it all or, or not do it at all. So it'll eat you alive. It'll humble you. Um, it's a, it's a definitely a trying sport. Man, I'm really serious, man. You've got to love the sport. I mean, it's it gets in your blood. It's addictive like you can't believe. Um, and the thrill when you're standing in victory lane, um, it's second to none. Sprint car racing is a very tough sport. You know, a lot of people don't see the work that goes on on the outside of uh, the racetrack uh, for the crews. And, uh, you know, sprint car crews are very, very tough people. Um, you know, we're very used to working 16 to 20 hour days every day, seven days a week, you know, and a lot of traveling and, uh, you know, hours to the next racetrack. And, uh, you know, the sport of sprint car racing has always been like that. But if you want to win bad enough, you, you, you just keep on working hard. And, uh, you know, the harder you work and you just hope that work pays off and you win the race. Every crew guy definitely makes it all possible for me to, to show up and, and be able to focus on my job. They're uh, turning wrenches left and right, and um, changing, you know, staggering tires, and there's just so much that goes, uh, that goes on behind the scenes that a lot of fans don't, don't realize, and they think that you know, us drivers are, are doing it all, and it's not that, that's not the case at all. So, um, you know, it's just uh, it's a testament to them more than, more than me a lot of the times. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm definitely looking forward to uh, maybe making my name a little more of a, a stamp on the USAC National Tour. Uh, hopefully get a national championship or two along the way and uh, 
just continue to advance my uh, my racing career. Um, you know, you never know what's uh, what's the next step or what what's ahead of you, but uh, definitely just got to keep pushing. You know. Uh, right now, I'm just in, really enjoying myself and uh, living the dream. That's for sure.